All right, we're on the go. So we're just running TJ's really quick. We gotta grab our quick on the go keto items. So I'm gonna give you my favorite, my quick just grab and go keto snacks that still fit within a Thomas DeLauer diet. And then we'll take them back to the studio and we'll explain them as we go. So I'll grab each individual ingredient and then we'll cut back to the studio, explain it. Then we'll go to another food, cut back to the studio, talk about the ingredients, et cetera, et cetera. So let's roll. What's up, man? <laughs> I know right where I'm going here. Okay, so on the go. So yeah, I definitely want sardines, but what's important, yeah, I want the sardines in spring water, not in olive oil. And I will explain the reasoning behind them. These aren't bad, these are just gonna be better. All right, we'll cut back to the studio. We'll talk a little bit about these. So here's what you need to know about sardines and why they're on my quick grab and go keto list. All right, sardines are obviously high in omega-3s, right? Okay. That's all fine and dandy. We know that we get a benefit there, but there's a lot more to sardines than just that. Okay, in addition to having an amazing fatty acid profile, you're getting the vitamin D that you need, you're getting the zinc that you need, and you're also getting all kinds of different minerals that are gonna help out with the overall absorption of the various minerals. So what that means is it's a fully complete food. You always wanna have symbiotic minerals. You wanna have a synergistic relationship with the minerals and vitamins that are in a given food. You see, for example, like some kinds of foods will have copious amounts of copper and way too much zinc, which cancels each other out. Point is, that's all complex stuff. Sardines end up being a perfect mineral profile and a perfect fatty acid profile. The reason I get them in water is very simple. We don't want to skew the ratio of omega-3s to omega-6 fats. Now, I will say, you can find sardines in olive oil, which is totally fine. But the nice thing about getting sardines in water is you end up saving like 200 calories. So you end up getting a nice low calorie, perfect macronutrient ratio snack that's gonna help you out on your ketogenic journey. But the cool thing is, even if you're not keto, these things aren't terribly high in fat. We're talking seven grams of fat for a whole can of them. So even if you're not keto, that's not enough to really cause a problem. Anyhow, Let's go back to the store. There's another thing that I would grab on the go. Now this is not something that people would usually want you to be eating around them, but I am a huge fan of oysters because of the zinc content. Now let's break them down a little bit more. Okay, so let me show you this with oysters. So oysters are pretty hard to get in a really high quality form. To be honest, almost all the oysters that you're gonna see out there are in cottonseed oil or soybean oil, which is a total bummer. And you're not gonna have time to just shuck your own you know, fresh oysters right in there. So I usually get them in olive oil, at least at Trader Joe's they have them in olive oil. Now, what I wanna show you is the carbohydrate content is pretty high, okay? We've got four grams of carbs in there, which means that you don't wanna to have too much of these. But you're not gonna have two, three, four, containers of oysters, okay? So big thing with oysters, very high in the bioavailable version of zinc. So what that means is zinc is going to help you out with thyroid level. It's going to help you out with insulin resistance. Now, uh, this is fresh in my mind because I've talked about it recently, but zinc actually binds to insulin receptors, meaning it can give your pancreas a little bit of a break. It mimics insulin within the body so that your body doesn't have to upregulate insulin so you don't end up with what's called hyperinsulinemia and ultimately uh, have these kind of chain reactions of insulin resistance. Point is, this could be a pinnacle in overall health, but it's a quick grab and go snack. And they don't have a ton of odor like sardines do, so if you're looking for something a little bit more odorless, yes, they still do have a smell, but it's not as much as sardines, this might be the way to go. Perfect little mineral balance, plus they taste great. There's nothing really at Trader Joe's that works in the bar section. Almost all of these have either a bunch of uh, either weird sugar alcohols, or they're just not gonna fit in a keto macronutrient profile. So let's see what they got over here. Okay, when it comes down to the jerky, definitely, yeah, soy sauce. These all have wheat in them, so we're not gonna roll with that. Love these guys. So I'm gonna grab beef, I'm gonna grab a jalapeno beef. Chomps is amazing, super sustainable in terms of how their beef is raised, and it's all grass-fed, grass-finished. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in the studio and why I chose these as well. We've got chomps, all right? So I talk about them all the time in my other videos, but the nice thing about chomps is they're legitimately grass-fed and grass-finished. And what you need to be paying attention to with any kind of snack, especially in the way of jerky, especially in the way of beef sticks, is most of them are 
grain fed. Okay, so they're grass fed, but then they're grain finished, which means they pump them full of grains at the end to fatten them up so they can get more money at harvest. That's just simply the way it works. But the biggest issue with that is you end up with a bunch of different issues, right? So you end up with grain that is full of ultimately Roundup and chemicals, which has some pretty negative downstream effects. Okay, we're looking at issues that can result in insulin resistance. We're looking at issues that can result in all kinds of different chelation of minerals within the body. Point is, is that if you get grass fed, grass finished, you're always in a better situation. The nice thing about chumps is they focus on that. Okay, so it's all humanely raised. It's all super, super clean and legitimately grass fed, grass finished. So when you talk about sustainable and you talk about clean, it's not just about how the animal was raised. It's not just about the, the ethical side of it. It's about how that has an effect on your body because you are what you eat ate. That's what I always say, okay? Yeah, you are what you eat, but more importantly, you are what you eat ate. So pay attention to what you are eating and what that may have been eating before it died, right? That's what we just have to pay attention to. So highly recommend Chomps. You can get them at Trader Joe's. If you also wanna check them out, I put a link down below in the description so you can get them online if you don't have a retailer near you. So special discount, you can use the code that's on the screen right now and save a couple bucks to just get a whole bunch of these suckers. I personally love the venison one, I love the sea salt one, and I really like the jalapeno one too. All right, in a world of all kinds of nuts that you can choose from, we've got so many different options. We've got pecans, we've got all this stuff. What do we go with? Well, I hate to break it to you, but we've got to go for the expensive ones, okay? So we're going to go with macadamias. In this case, I'm going to go dry roasted and salted. There are so many cool benefits coming out in the world of palmitoleic acid, which is omega-7, which is a very big fat in macadamia nuts. So let's go back to the studio and let's nerd out a little bit on this palmitoleic acid because trust me, you're gonna to wanna to eat a bunch of macadamias after hearing that. Right, now we've got our macadamia nuts. All right, now you watch my videos, you know I talk about them all the time, but I've got new science for you. New stuff that is even cooler than just the perfect little macronutrient profile. These little suckers are high in something called omega-7. Okay, palmitoleic acid. Now there's a couple really interesting bodies of research. Now they're starting to dive into omega-7s a lot more. So in addition to omega-7s making omega-3s more available in the body, omega-7s have also now been shown to improve insulin resistance. So basically they improve the pancreas's ability to produce insulin by as much as 65%, at least in one particular study. But then we take a little bit further, we've seen studies that show that omega-7, palmitoleic acid, can cut C-reactive protein levels by 50%. C-reactive protein is literally like the pinnacle of inflammation. If you have high levels of CRP, it's an indicator of chronic inflammation. So when we can cut inflammation via specific foods, it's a huge, huge, huge win. I've done videos talking about the top anti-inflammatory foods because we're really focusing on that particular pathway. Now, another thing that I really do have to focus on here is it's a tremendous, tremendous omega-3, omega-6 ratio. Okay, so what that means is the fats that are in it aren't high omega-6. A lot of nuts are going to be high omega-6 fats, which means if you eat a copious amount of them, you throw your body out of that inflammatory balance. So even if you go and you eat a bunch of healthy almonds, you're gonna end up throwing off that ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. So let's say you're trying to be perfect and you ate your sardines to get your omega-3s, but you coupled it with some almonds. Well, then you just threw off that ratio. But if you ate your sardines and you coupled it with macadamia nuts, you're not gonna throw off that ratio. So that's why these guys are on my list. It's not just because they're the typical keto nut. No, they're beyond that. Okay, this next one's one that I'm gonna have to scope out a little bit. I gotta make sure I can find it. But usually when you think of olives, you don't think of them as being like a fattier food, right? You think olives as a vegetable almost. And you think if you want the benefits of olives, you're gonna go through, well, olive oil. Well, what about olives in their whole form that might be sitting in some oil? So I gotta try to find these here really quick. I know they have them. Aha, here we go. 99 cents, little single serving, pitted salted, manzanilla olives, okay? So two servings in there, two and a half grams of fat per serving, so five grams of fat, but all we've got is manzanilla olives, olive oil, sea salt, and lactic acid. That is such a good keto snack. Why is that not super, super popular? So anyhow, let's talk a little bit more about the benefits here. My favorite receptor protein in the body, PPAR alpha. Okay, let me go nerdy on you for a second. PPAR alpha is a receptor protein in the body that allows you to essentially burn more fat. It turns your unsightly white fat into brown fat, which actually has thermogenic properties. 
I know it sounds like a stretch, but the research really does prove that. Now, let me get back to just normal talk here for a second. Olives. We always think to have olive oil, but what about having actual olives? See, olives have the fat in them themselves. That's why we actually squeeze oil out of them. So why not just eat the olives? There's practically no carbs in here. We've got less than one gram of carbohydrate in a serving and two servings. So basically have about one gram of carbohydrate in this whole dang little packet of olives. And then we get our sodium in the mix too. But what's happening is the fat that's in here is a particular fat known as oleic acid. Now these suckers are gonna have over 70% oleic acid. Oleic acid will convert into something called OEA in the body, which does upregulate the browning of white fat, which means the fat that you do have in your body could take on properties of fat burning fat. Now I've done other videos on that. Point is, olives are a tremendous fat burning food. One more little nerd fact is the oil that is in olives turns into hydroxytyrosol. So hydroxytyrosol is a very powerful antioxidant and it's being studied more and more and more and more. That's why olive oil has such high antioxidant properties. We're gonna get it out of regular olives too. So definitely a no-brainer. It's a simple, cheap snack. You gonna open for me so you can be famous again? Let's do it. Okay, I gotta grab one thing. And then lastly, we have these guys. We'll talk a little bit more about them in the studio, but straight up dark chocolate. And trust me, you're not gonna find something like this anywhere else. Good old fashioned baking chocolate. Okay, so in this case, I, they have a Montezumas. It's usually up at the front of the counter, like up by the counters. So this is straight up baking chocolate, but it's not even marketed as baking chocolate. So it means it has no sweeteners in it, nothing. It's just chocolate. Okay, and in this case, they have it with cocoa nibs, but you can also get it with almonds. I recommend getting it with the cocoa nibs. So 100% cocoa solids, absolute black with cocoa nibs. Okay, now you might be thinking, well, there's a lot of fat in that. That's like 14 grams, eight grams of saturated fat, but it's a particular kind of saturated fat known as steric acid. It's important that you know, and I talk about this in other videos, not all saturated fats are created equal. Some saturated fats actually elevate your overall LDL cholesterol levels, and some of them don't affect them at all. Steric acid, which is the primary fat that's in here, is actually a very good saturated fat that is going to help you out with myelination. So it's gonna help out your nerves, it's gonna help out your brain, but it's also just tasty. And the cool thing is theobromine, which is the little bit of stimulant that's in chocolate, is a very good appetite suppressant. So I have one little square of this, couple calories, and boom, I don't feel hungry. So that's why it's one of my grab and go snacks. Fair warning though, once you open the bag, don't just put it in your glove box or in your center console because when your car gets warm, you're gonna have a chocolatey mess everywhere and you don't wanna just be licking your center console. You are in every TJ's video we ever do. <laughs> That's such a lucky dude. <laughs> you wanna take a guess on uh, what you think this video is based on what you're seeing? Keto. Come on. <laughs> yeah. My clothes? Yeah, yes. <laughs> you back in? Yeah. So, oh, very cool. Which feels a lot better. <laughs> See you, man. See you. In and out for 20 bucks and I've got snacks for a week, okay? Come on, do the math. That's definitely keto on a budget. And I can do that wherever I am, wherever there's a TJ's. But quite honestly, you can get this stuff at just about any store. It's just in this case, Trader Joe's is convenient and I at least trust a lot of the stuff that's there. So if you're a fan of these just kind of quick, really just spur of the moment type of grocery videos, let me know in the comment section below because this is kind of fun. You don't have to take up 20 minutes of your day. I can just hop in the store, show you little things that I like for different scenarios and we're good to go. So please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon and don't forget to tell all your friends and family where to get awesome health education. I'll see you soon.